that this month we learn how to strive against our soul to perform obligations and stay away from the prohibitions we learn to make jihad against our soul which is the greatest jihad Allah Azza wa Jalla said subhanahu wa ta'ala وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِينَا لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ سُبَلَنَا Those people that strive for our sake, we will guide them to the straight path. Naam, and the fasting person, brothers and sisters, يُجَاهِدْ نَفْسَهُ He strives against himself. He prays, alhamdulillah, the five daily prayers, which are obligatory. The fasting person, he strives against his soul to fast. Even if the soul is rather hungry and thirsty and wants to do that which is not lawful. The fasting person, he strives against his soul to read the Quran, the book of Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala. The fasting person strives against his soul to give charity. He strives against his soul to pray tarawih because he knows, brothers and sisters, it's possible that he may never reach another Ramadan. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Man qama Ramadan imanan wa ihtisaba, wafira lahu ma taqaddama min dambi. Whoever prays in the month of Ramadan out of true faith, Awaiting the reward from Allah, his previous sins will be forgiven. The fasting person, he knows, he may never see another Ramadan. So he's not at home with his feet up, sitting on the sofa, just wasting time. Rather, he's in the masjid. Yusalli ma'al imam, wa yansarif ma'al imam. Praying with the imam, starting with him, finishing with the imam, so that he can receive the reward as, he, as if he prayed the whole night. Mujahadatun nafs. Likewise, brothers and sisters, fasting, it teaches us to what? Be humble, not be arrogant. We have no right to be arrogant and look down upon other people. No right whatsoever. Ramadan, 